So people who use vehicles, before you dislike this video, because I know you will, I hope you hear me out. Well, first of all, this is King Dub the Seventh bringing you some more fantastic crucible film of me whooping people's ass. But people who use vehicles, I want you to, like, look at this dumbass. And that's one of the prime examples of why people who use vehicles in Destiny absolutely suck. I don't know what he thought. Actually, I do know what he thought he was going to do. He thought he was just going to come over, kill us, and take our zone. It would have been a, it would have been great. It would have been a great plan, except for the fact that he didn't account on the fact that he has absolutely no skill whatsoever in the game. So it totally backfired on him. So here's what I want to here's what I want to point out. In Destiny, the only game where it might be easier to neutralize people in vehicles, the only game where it might be easier to neutralize people in vehicles, that game is probably Halo 3. That's the only game where I can think of. Because things happen so smooth. It was easier in, in Halo 2 because things happen so smoother in Halo 3 than Halo 2. And you could just shoot somebody with a plasma pistol and just like kill them. The vehicle couldn't move anymore. So, and Destiny is very easy to take out people who use vehicles. So there's really not much of a reason to jump in a vehicle. It's easier to, well, it's not even easier to kill people in a vehicle. Because if you shoot somebody in the head, like, three times with a hand cannon, they're probably dead. Or all you need to do is shoot somebody once with a fuse rifle or a shotgun and they're dead. Or snipe somebody in the head and they're dead. And obviously if you use a vehicle you're not that skilled in using any of those other weapons. But I know what people say. The vehicles are placed in the game for a reason. You might as well use them since they're there. Yeah, that's true. But they're placed in the game for people who can't kill any other way. Like if you're if you suck with like a hand cannon or every other weapon in the game, then they put the vehicles there for you, so that you may use those vehicles. Like this dude right here, he is still in his damn pike, even though it's about to blow up. That pike is one sniper shot away from being space dust. And look at him, what the hell, like that vehicle can't even hurt anybody. I don't know, maybe he had a tumbler, maybe he was going to try to do a trick on my head and kill me. I don't know, but he died. I'm not saying don't use vehicles. Hell, I hope people keep using vehicles, they're easy kills. What I'm saying simply and I get lost here trying to get to B because I know there are people over at B to kill with my gallon but what I'm simply saying is that people who use vehicles just aren't skilled at the game it's, it's, it's that simple and this dude on our team with the vehicle almost killed me this pike damn bastard but I don't know man I don't know this gameplay that I had here, it was ridiculously ridiculous. And look at this dude up there. Ah, uh, no robot. That never happened. I did that like that. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to say about that. And then I'm walking out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like I was so distraught about that Nova bomb miss that I was just I like, confused about life. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about people who use vehicles. There's not much more I can say about that topic. What else do I have to talk about? There's not much else to talk about. I guess I could elaborate more on the Halo 5 thing that I just saw. Look at that double kill with the gallon horn. The vehicle 
sucky player killer. And look at this guy in the turn shooting at the wall. And look at me miss that guy on home run. But anyway, Halo 5 has microtransactions. And like, and like, I don't care much about microtransactions. Like, companies can put whatever they want in the game. What a company is supposed to do is it's supposed to be a company. Companies make money, and microtransactions are another way to make money. But what is there that you can put in Halo that people will buy extra? Like, what can you pay for in Halo with real money? Now, I read that article. I'll probably put the article in the descriptions where you guys can see. But in Halo, there are going to be things called wreck points. I hate that name because I guess they're trying to make a pun on get wrecked and blah, blah, blah. But they have an uh, in-game currency called wreck points. And apparently, what you can do, or what they did for Halo to make things more... Uh, I'm just gonna say easy to make things easy on the players you will be able to buy wreck points to buy I guess weapons and armor pieces and that automatically makes me think of pay to win because if you have multiple weapons and armor pieces in the game well not necessarily armor pieces because you could just have different armor pieces that look different but if you can buy weapons in game, weapons, they're automatically going to be some weapons that are better than other weapons. That's just the case in any first person shooter. And if you can buy those weapons with in game currency and you can buy in game currency with real money, then that's simply pay to win. I'm sorry, there's no other way to put it. It's at least pay to get better. And you win when you get better. So that's pay to win. There's no other, like, there's no sugarcoating this. That would be like, in Destiny, if you could buy strange coins. This is crazy, like, I shouldn't have killed him, he sucks. But that would be like... In Destiny, if you could buy strange coins, and when Zuri comes... You just buy a bunch of armor, exotic armor pieces and exotic weapons. And then you buy some exotic shards too. There's no difference in it. Like, that's just, that shouldn't be in Halo. It has no business in Halo. But, 343 is making Halo not bungee. And as much as you can complain about in Destiny, you can't call Destiny pay to win. Like, as much as they do wrong, they do a lot right too with their PvP system. Are some weapons balanced? Like, are some weapons stronger than other weapons? Sure. But this is also supposed to have RPG aspects to it, so they're gonna have to be some evolution in the power of weapons. Like, all weapons aren't traded equal in the real world or in video games. But, at least, everyone has an equal opportunity to get each weapon. Like, if you put the time in the game, you're going to have more things, and you're going to have a better chance to win than people who don't put the time into games. With Destiny, or not Destiny, with Halo, if you put three hours in that game because you can buy wreck points and buy the armor sets you're gonna be able to do as much damage to people as the people who put a hundred hours into Halo 5 so hopefully they have some uh, a better system than just wreck points and you can buy wreck points I'm sure they will because no video game company can be that stupid but after playing Halo 4 
I don't know. I'm not sure. And there's not much hope in the Halo and the new Halo community. Like a lot of people didn't like Halo 4 and they're not impressed by Halo 5. So look at this dude trying to run. So it's going to be very interesting to see the future of what Halo is going to be. If the only way I play that game is if they put it on PC. Besides that, I won't touch Halo. But this is about the end of this video. Uh, we pretty much mopped the floor with this other team. Uh, I somehow missed with that Gallonhorn rocket and hitting him with the second one and then die. But yeah. I would love to hear what you guys have to think on these topics. Uh, as bad as I say Titans are, I'd rather play against a Titan than someone who's just running around in vehicles. So Titan people, you have that. But that's the end of this video. Please comment your opinions on what I have to say. Like, dislike, I don't care and subscribe to the channel. If you do anything, subscribe to the channel. And peace, you guys. Have a great day.